Now in ConvertKit's email editor, you can add multi-column layouts. You can add any kind of media to those layouts. You can customize the headers and the footers of your email templates. You've got custom controls over your margin and spacing and so much more. We were so excited about these updates that we decided it was a great time to revamp our very own ConvertKit newsletter to take advantage of everything that you can now do in the email editor. So let's take a look at how we went from this old newsletter template to this new and exciting newsletter template. To start redesigning our newsletter, I don't wanna start completely from scratch and luckily I don't have to. I'm gonna use this template that was created by Rafael Tomal and if you stick around to the end of the video, I will show you where you can find a bunch of newly released free templates just like this one that you can use to customize and redesign your newsletter. Once you find a template that you like, if you just go to the top, you can just click on use this template to begin customizing it. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna change the background color of this to be more on brand with convert Kit, and you can see on the right side, we've got background color, but if you don't see that right there, you may have clicked somewhere in the template and wherever you click, you will see the editing options for that particular thing that you clicked on. So in this case, I clicked on a heading. So I've got my editing options for the heading right here, but I can also edit the entire section that the heading happens to be in and have those options right here. And I can move all the way up to the template level to make edits that are gonna apply to the entire template. So in this case, it would be the background color that I want to change. And so if I click right there, you'll notice I've got some convert kit colors that have been saved. You can customize these colors to fit your brand. And that way, anytime you need to select a color, your brand colors are right there and available. I'm going to use this beige color as my background. I now want to have the ConvertKit logo on the top left and then a login button on the top right so the readers can log into their ConvertKit account. So I'm gonna first delete uh, where it says Avery McMillan and then I'm gonna click on this image and I've got some editing options for the image over here. I wanna replace this image and so I'll click there and click on the ConvertKit logo that I wanna replace. It's super small right now but with the image still selected, I can adjust the width of the image and get it to the size that I want it to be. Now I'm gonna delete where it says May 2023 and I wanna add a button right here. So if I just move my mouse, you'll see that some plus signs appear here. I wanna click on the white one because that's gonna add my button to the inside of this layout block. Uh, if I wanna add something above this block or below the block, then I can use these blue plus signs right here. So I'm gonna click plus and then I'm gonna click the button right here and then type in login and I want that to be bold. So I'll highlight it. Bold, things like bold and italicize and underline are gonna be up here. So I can click on bold and I also want it to be right aligned. So over on my button options right here, I can click on right aligned and I also want it to be ConvertKit red. So I can just change the background color to be ConvertKit red. Now the spacing's a little bit off right now. It's a little bit lower than I want it to be, but that's because I have a text block above it right here. So if I just click above it and you can see text is selected over here, I'm gonna hit backspace and then it gets rid of that text block and now the login button kind of takes that space there. So this is looking good. I think I'm ready to move on to the body of the email. So our newsletters typically start with a simple greeting. So I'm not gonna need this header or this second header down here. I just want this paragraph text uh, down below. So I'm gonna highlight what I don't need and then just hit backspace. I'm gonna hit backspace a couple more times to get rid of some of that space. And let me just customize the copy here real quick. So with this text right here, I wanna make a few changes so with my cursor inside the text, you can see my options for the text are up here. I'd like the font to be Arial. I wanna bump it up to size 18 pixels. And I wanna tweak the amount of space that's in between my two lines. And so under advanced right here, you can see that I can customize my line height and maybe I wanna bring it down to 1.2 to get rid of a little bit of that space. And I can also customize the letter spacing. So even though I'm using Arial, I can still make this look unique or more customized to my brand depending on what I like. But in this case, I'm gonna keep it at zero. And so our newsletters typically have a big image at the top that is about whatever topic we're focusing that newsletter 
on. As I look through this template, you can see that I've got multiple layouts here that look great, but that's not what I'm looking for at the beginning of my email. We've got a couple two column ones. We've got this single column one right here. We've got three column layouts as well. But the one that is most in line with what I'm looking for is this one right here. Big image, title, as well as some copy and a button. I want to move this actual layout block higher up to the top of my email. And so if I just hover my mouse over that layout, you can see these arrows appear and I'm gonna click up and then I'm just gonna keep moving it until it is where I want it in my email. And so it's at the top of my email here and right now my text is selected, but I actually wanna move out to the layout editing options here so I can change the background color. And I wanna go from this orange to this white right here. And you can see that the edges are a little bit rounded. I prefer to go a little more subtle on the edges. So with the layout editing options still selected, I can go down to border and then just make the border radius, which is how round your border edges are, just make that normal. And if I wanted to, I could click on custom and go through and actually customize individual corners to be as round as I want them to be. But let's keep it at normal for now. I'm also gonna replace this picture, but before I do that, I wanna get rid of some of the space around the picture. With my layout section still selected, you can see I've got some padding and margin options. And for the longest time, I didn't know the difference between padding and margin, but padding is the distance between the border and the elements inside of the border. Whereas margin is the distance between the border and the elements outside of the border. And so in this case, I'm gonna keep my margin on normal and I also want my padding on normal, but I'd like a little bit less space on the top of the image. So under padding, I can go into custom and then just adjust the amount of padding along the top. And I'll just lower that to about right there. Now I can click on the image and then replace it with the image that I want. In this case, let's do this picture of Nathan with ConvertKit logo. I'm gonna highlight all of this first and left align it. I want my heading font to be Roboto Bold. And I'm noticing that the, the letters are very close together. So I'm gonna go down to advance and I'm gonna change the letter spacing to be just zero. So it's just a normal distance apart. And let me change the copy on this real quick. All right, that's looking good. Also, if you've not watched Nathan's story and documentary that we have created, go check that out too. And so in the next part of the email, what we'll typically have is something similar to this where we'll have an image, a heading, some copy, and then a button or something to send someone to a recent blog or a recent podcast or something like that. But let's Let's say your template doesn't have something set up like this already. So let's delete these right here. So after clicking on recent articles and then clicking on this plus sign, I'm gonna go down to where it says layout. And over on the right side, you're gonna see 15 different layout options that you can choose from. And this one right here is pretty in line with what I'm looking for. So the first thing I wanna do is swap this image out. So if I click where the image is and click replace, I'm gonna use this little mailbox picture. And so I wanna add some padding to this image, but I'm not gonna to go to layout the same way that I did before, but instead, I only want the padding to apply to this particular column, this left side, that space around the image on the left. So I'm gonna click on column right here and then go down to spacing and just put normal padding like that. And right now it's more aligned closer to the top. I'm gonna to align it in the middle right here. And now let me just change the copy real quick. There's a few more adjustments that I wanna to make to this layout, so I'm actually gonna go to the layout editing options and I can adjust the gap between the picture and the text on the right. That is a good distance right there. I can also adjust the column ratio, basically where that dividing column is going to be. And so I like that right there. And what's really cool about all these layouts is that you can not only customize what's there, but you can actually delete what's there and replace it with other elements. So let's say instead of that button right there, I just delete that. I want to add some social icons. And so I'm gonna click on icons Maybe I want to add Twitter or X or whatever it's called. <laughs> I can click on that plus sign and then just say what kind of button this is gonna be. Twitter right there. And then you can just put your URL right there. Be sure to follow us on Twitter if you aren't already. And then you can add any other social icons. And then you can even customize them even further by going to the icons editing options. And maybe you want circle and you can do custom colors. Let's go with one of our brand colors right there. And what's nice is I wanna create another article that looks pretty much like this layout, but I don't have to recreate all of this again. I can just click on this duplicate option right 
right here. And now I've got the exact same thing that I can just customize for this next article that I wanna share. And so once you have finished designing your email, you can give it a new name, new ConvertKit email templates. Click save. And now anytime that you want to send a broadcast, you'll go to new broadcast. And there you can see new ConvertKit email template is available to use in my broadcast. And so with all of that flexibility, this is the new ConvertKit email newsletter template that we are utilizing every week to send our newsletter to our audience. To find a bunch of free email templates that have been designed for creators by creators, check out our new email template marketplace. We've got a link to it down in the description. Find one that you like and design it so that it is uniquely yours. And then be sure to share it with us and tag us on social media. We're super excited to see what you create.